Hello and welcome to all you Taurus people. Let's just get started with your monthly horoscope for Taurus in March 2019. What's going on? The biggest thing that is going on for you is certainly that Mars is in your sign. So every once uh, for, a whole, for the whole month actually, basically almost, um, this happens every two years. So make, take advantage of that. It's a good month to start new things. Although I'm going to give you some uh, information about other stuff as well. Uh, but it's very much, it's a good month to when you're saying some people are crossing my boundaries to say, hey, here is a line. This is enough. It's a fantastic month for that. Because Mars is in your sign. And it's not only Mars that is in your sign. It's also Uranus again. Also last year, there was a little period of time when you already sensed this, but now it's for good. Uranus is going to stay in Taurus. It's uh, shifting into it in, in the very beginning of the month, around about the 6th of, the, of, of March. And it's going to stay there for years. So prepare yourself, dear Taurus people, to do not the same as your peers. To prepare yourself to, do, to go against the mainstream, basically, when it is certainly your sun sign. It means your career. Don't do the same as all your peers are doing. Do something different and you will gain more success and be independent. So a lot of Taurians will feel again, especially the ones who were born in uh, uh, April, the end of April, they will feel it the most because Uranus takes a bit of time to go through that sign, a couple of years. Um, but every Taurian will feel the energy of of Uranus. So you're getting a bit more restless and that's good. It means that things need to change and Taurus is a fixed sign so change is not really in their literature so to speak. Um, but now you will feel more and more the urge to do your own thing. Um, so for the Taurians who are now in positions in situations where they're feeling a bit like this, it's, it's not gonna stay like this. That's the good part. And um, you're going to free yourself up for sure. Uh, but of course, that is always demanding courage. And uh, the good thing is that um, when Uranus is in your sign, it means that you can liberate yourself from situations that have been going on for years. And uh, this is taking back your freedom, basically, whether it is a relationship um, or whether it is work, whatever it is, that's the energy that... It starts again in March, but it will take years, that energy. So um, you, it is for some of you really a process. And for those of you who have their birthday um, and who have their sun sign, for instance, at zero up until six degrees of Taurus, they will feel it the most. Um, so this means that, that you have the opportunity now to take action, to have the courage to change your life in the way that you feel more freedom and that you feel restricted. So more and more as we go into time, the Taurus people will, and maybe you are a Taurian who, you know, Taurus is ruled by Venus. So most of Taurian people, they just want to get along with other people. And uh, sometimes, you know, they, they, they do a little bit of, of giving and, and, and so in relationships but that will not be the case now with Uranus in in Taurus the case will be that that will frustrate you enormously so that you can be more honest about yourself and being more authentic so that's the message you know be open for this energy don't fight it uh, don't you know if you feel that you're not happy about a certain situation you're feeling a bit enchained there know that it's you it's you that can take um steps uh, towards that freedom and uh, it's a process so you have time to do that and especially now because Mars is as well in your sign you will feel more agitated the negative side is that you will feel more frustrated agitated other people um, uh, stepping on your toes and other people can really annoy you more. But if you're feeling that during the, the month of March, maybe you have to set a bit more boundaries with other people. Maybe other people are just walking all over you. If that is the case, if you're nodding, yeah, huh, they are, well, this is the month to correct this. So although Mars in your first sign can be a bit more 
um, aggressive, a bit more, let's put it that way, in a positive way, assertive, make use of it, okay? So that's the good news, that if you say, yeah, I have to redraw the lines with some people that are very close to me, or maybe people from work, now is the time here. And especially with people at work as well, because Mars in your sign is gonna square up to Venus uh, around about the 21st, 22nd. So there is a bit of uh, imbalance between giving and taking, and it considers you and it considers work. So, um, so Venus is in um, Aquarius. So it could be some um, a woman at your at a, at the workplace that is just uh, you know taking too much, um, and you have the time now and the the energy now to say no, this is enough. I'm not gonna do your shifts all of the time anymore. You know, that kind of energy. Or it could be the other way around as well, that, um, you know, you're just taking too much. But as Mars is in your first sign, it seems more the other way around. It seems more like someone else is maybe taking advantage of you. And if that is the case, you have uh, the courage now to do so and to adjust it. It's not easy energy, but it's there for a reason. Um, and last but not least, there is an enormous amount of energy in your 11th house for the whole month. Um, it's very Neptunian, very, there is a new moon in Pisces around the 6th and Mercury um, in around the 6th as well goes retrograde in that 11th house. And then at the very end of the month, uh, Mercury goes direct. So there's something going on with your 11th house that is confusing and that is not clear. It will become clear, but really up until, let's say, April or the second week of April, you will see clearance. What is the 11th house? It could be two different things or both of those things for you. First of all, it could be friends or of a friend that, um, that something is not clear about this friend. Uh, it could be that a friend has taken advantage of you again you're doing way too much or it could be you falling in love with a friend uh, or it could be just a friend that is very confused at this time whatever it is um, stand still is the best advice that I want to give you don't do any contracts um, with friends that is related maybe with work or, or whatever during the 6th of March and the end of March because you know, Mercury is um, not in the best place to sign important contracts with friends. Um, at its best, it can be someone, a, t a friend that returns. And um, it, it is all, it's quite romantic energy there or idealistic energy, which is fantastic. It can be magical. It can be a friend that that is just turning into a lover. Um, and it is all very magical and you're seeing them in a different light all good and well but prepare yourself that you stay with the feet on the ground and for a Taurus person that's mostly not always that difficult because Taurus is about getting your feet on the ground so um, be aware that you're not seeing every the bigger that you're not seeing always what you want to see um, I don't want to say that friends are bad for you at the moment. No, it's just your perspective that they, you might just see what you want to see or consciously or unconsciously not see the truth of those friends. Whatever it is, the truth will come out. And um, as I said, that is more after the first week of April. So the, the best thing is actually not to do really important decisions around friends and see how what turns out basically um, on another level it could have to do with your goals it could have because it's a very future oriented house so it could be that a goal wasn't really realistic for you and that you have to review mercury retrograde retrograde is about reassessing so you're reassessing your goals maybe you had a dream of uh, becoming um, uh, becoming a nurse uh, and now all of a sudden you're saying, look, you know what? I can't even see blood and I'm, and I'm faint, I, I faint. So you, you have to review your, um, your objectives for, for, for the future. And, um, and you, you, you are seeing different parts. So it's a very good time to think about your future, to think about goals in the future and to have a couple of options and then act on one of them or maybe two of them, 
uh, when Mercury goes direct again, which is the end of the month. Having said that, it's, it's quite an interesting month for you. It's uh, certainly a very assertive month. Um, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for listening. And if you want to get a reading, just get in touch. Bye-bye.